what is the purpose of black performers in the Hollywood mainstream industry? Well, it's to play the racial victim, of course. And here's yet another example with Michael B. Jordan set to produce a post 9-11 drama called I Help Destroy People, starring Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. Now, this project was announced by Amazon, by Amazon Studios Monday that it picked up the rights to I Help Destroy People, which is a post 9-11 true story co-produced by Michael B. Jordan and starring Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. Written by Hand of God screenwriter Ben Watkins and adapted from the New York Times article of the same name by Janet Redman, I Help Destroy People will see Abdul Mateen play Terry Alberry, the FBI's only black agent, in its Minneapolis field office and a first hand witness to the racist and xenophobic practices of his colleagues and superiors. After the 9-11 attacks, Alberry became the only black agent involved in a surveillance program of Muslim and immigrant communities. Frustrated by the corruption in his office, Alberry leaked documents about the surveillance program to The Intercept, leading to the Trump administration of course Trump gets brought up leading to the Trump administration arresting him on charges of violating the Espionage Act of 1917 Alberry pleaded guilty and was sentenced to four years in prison so there you have it another race play woe is me racial victimhood narrative with Michael B. Jordan producing and Yaya starring. Because again, this is what these uh, liberal Negroes are used for. And even though this is something that they actually should be offended by, always having to play the victim, they're not. Not only are they not offended by it, but they embrace it wholly. It's a part of the inferiority complex of being a Mr. or Mrs. Pro Blackly Black. Well, I should say Miss Pro Blackly Black because Mrs. would uh, suggest that these bitches are actually married. <laughs> and then, of course, you see, you know, the main reason why they picked this story, not only so they can call people racist and xenophobic, but just so they can attach it to the Trump administration. <laughs> Because, you know, according to these people in lip-tarded Hollywood, you know, 9-11, January 6th, pretty much the same thing, right? In fact, January 6th is far times worse, 10 times worse than 9-11. So, again, shit like that just lets you know they don't even care about the 9-11 situation, let alone things that happened post-9-11. This is all about another blackity black playing, you know, racist victim and attaching something else to the Trump administration where they can say, oh, see, he's bad and he's racist. And of course, this is coming from Amazon Studios, the uh, same corporation that's setting up to kill off uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, with 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 the Lord of the Rings that's been heavily race swapped as well, with uh, mainly black characters. I mean, again, this is what black performers, black entertainers. This is what they're utilized for, by the left, by liberals. You know, their favorite tokens to portray as victims, and their favorite tokens to utilize when they want to race swap characters in movies. And in TV shows. And believe it or not, a, a lot of liberal Negroes, they enjoy this sort of thing. You know, you think this sort of pandering would be seen as patronizing, would be seen as insulting, you know, would be seen as, you know, actual racism, woke racism, as I like to call it. 
But no. You know, sadly, the majority of so-called black people, they enjoy this sort of pandering. Now, you'll have some on social media talk as if they recognize the pandering and they feel insulted by it. Hell, you probably even have a few content creators who will state this claim. But when you listen to their social political bullshit, and sometimes it takes certain issues to find it out. You know, like maybe if you talk about the the lynching bill that made lynching a hate crime, or if you talk about the Crown Act that's protected black women's crown. You know, usually you have to poke around, but you'll find the issue that brings out that pro blacky black in them that they've been trying to hide it, that, that they've been trying to hide, and it exposes that bullshit and it exposes the fact why Hollywood continues to do this bullshit. It's because the reality is most of so-called black people don't mind being portrayed in this way. Because, hell, this be fucking people's escapist entertainment to talk about how they're victims of racism and how, you know, the first black this had to go through that, the only black this had to go through that. It'd be a lot of Negroes' favorite conversation to talk about this bullshit. Meanwhile, they can live in a city full of violence. They know who the perpetrators are. But the main issues that they want to talk about is hate crime bills, retarded ass pandering bills, protecting hair, or movies and TV shows, you know, telling the truth about the man and the system. Uh, but yeah, it, it'll be fun to see them call a, a bunch of FBI agents at the time, you know, racist and xenophobic, especially since they're big fans of the FBI, especially right now, you know, since the FBI, along with the military and other law enforcement agencies, are very pro-woke, you know, and as a result, it's caused the death of thousands of so-called black people because you know they ignore black on black crime but you know as long as they're woke fucking idiots but yeah this is what you're getting from Amazon Studios and Hollywood in general some more woe is me racial victimhood bullshit because that's all black entertainers are good for in the Hollywood mainstream and that's all black liberals in general are good for. And they're happy to accept that duty of being a fucking victim.